In today's video, should you be eating less than your basal metabolic rate to get fat loss going? All right guys, so today's question comes from right here on my Instagram direct message. So if you're interested in sending me your direct messages, please go there, do so. I love answering questions and you can leave questions in the comments below. I try to answer every single comment. And if you like this type of content from a fitness expert around how to reach your physique goals, hit subscribe. It's what makes my day. So first I wanna to read today's question and then we're gonna discuss it. I heard every time that a person should never consume calories less than their BMR, but some online calorie calculators of 1400 which is less than the BMR of a normal person which statement is true a person having a BMR of 1500 calories and a calculator shows calories for fat loss are 1400 or 1300 some people say that you consume 2000 calories and burn 2500 how do I burn 2500 calories or is it consistent factors like BMR TDEE -E, TEF NEAT and EAT hope you'll clear my doubts well first of all a lot of fancy terms in there a lot of things we're discussing and one of the things we're discussing when it comes to fat loss is the calories and you know the, the equation of calories in versus calorie out which, which often gets confused so i'm gonna bring in lexi all right guys so this is lexi maitland she's one of the amazing coaches here at pro physique and she just got her bachelor's degree in exercise physiology yeah ut calls it human performance okay. but it's just their fancy way so could you explain for the people on youtube what is basal metabolic rate so essentially it is the amount of calories you are burning at rest so the calories that your body's burning to just basically keep you alive to function um, it doesn't include any of the calories that you are burning throughout the day uh, you know walking from point a to point b or your workouts or any of that so it's just strictly the amount of calories you burn at rest thank you thank you so there are a lot of different formulas that we can figure out what our basal metabolic rate is but understanding that this is just a formula and it's just based on some metrics so what i'm going to do is link below a calculator where you can go and figure out your basal metabolic rate what i also did was i went to the calculator at pro physique so we have a free calculator on ProPhysique.com that actually figures out how many calories you need to be losing weight now the calorie calculator on ProPhysique.com is a little more inclusive. It includes different factors, things like body fat percentage, which is not included in the Harrison Benedict formula that is a part of your BMR. So I feel like the calorie calculator on ProPhysique.com is a little more accurate. It was actually about 4,000, I'm sorry, 400 calories difference between the calculators. I'll let you guys go try both out and see what you find. And in fact, I'd love to put it in the comments below if you guys could tell me what that is. Now, what we need to figure out is actually a baseline because although it's great to know all this information like hey I plugged it in and it says here my basal metabolic rate is 1400 calories or 2000 calories well what does that actually mean none of us lay around all day okay a basal metabolic rate is basically our resting calorie burn in a fasted state so after about 12 12 12 hours of not eating so you're fasted how many calories is your body burning well not many of us spend time laying around not burning any calories right so there's a lot more real world application if you figure out how many calories you're taking in to maintain your weight okay that's why i really encourage and actually require my clients to track their calories and track their macronutrients okay this is in my mind a much better approach than trying to game the system by figuring out from a calculator that is not specific to you how many calories you're gonna be burning on your basal metabolic rate or resting metabolic rate. And you, you included a lot of terms in here, like total, daily, energy, expenditure, non-exercise, activity, thermogenesis. These are all fancy terms. But really the only way to figure out what you need to be doing is by tracking the calories that you take in, tracking your activity, okay? So as a coach, do I need to know how many calories you burn doing a cardio exercise? Well, that's only a small portion of your day. The biggest portion of your day is neat, okay? Throughout the day, just doing things like hand movements, like Lexi said, walking from point A to point B. Maybe you have some stress. Maybe there's things going on in your life that increase your heart rate, okay? How is your sleep? These things have a huge impact. And a lot of people will, will talk about the thermic effect of food, but the thermic effect of food is very, very tiny when it comes to how many calories you burn. The thermic effect of food basically being the energy required to break down the food that you consume, okay? So all of this can get very complicated. And as a coach, I don't like complicated. I want simple. So what should we be doing? Here's how you proceed. You can track 
the calories that you take in for an entire week, take that average. You can track the amount of activity you have throughout the week, how many steps you're taking, what kind of exercise you're doing. Once you have these two numbers, that's how you determine how to succeed, okay? If you're averaging 3,000 calories a day and you're averaging 3,000 steps a day and you're not losing weight, well, what could we do? Well, we'll take in a few less calories and we'll increase our calorie expenditure, okay? That is how we have success. I don't like trying to focus too much on figuring it out before we start. You just gotta get started. You cannot try to do it from day one and hope that it's going to be perfect. The best, best success that we are going to have in this process of putting on muscle, losing fat, reaching our physique goals is tracking, being consistent, being accountable, and then adjusting based on what is actually happening, okay? So you need to track every single thing that you consume, okay? Uh, sometimes people add sauces, then they don't realize that there are literally hundreds of calories. Maybe you're drinking something that you don't realize has hundreds of calories. Once you become accountable to the calories that you're taking in, it's much easier. But trying to figure out exactly how many calories you burn, what your basal metabolic rate is, how many calories you're burning during exercise, how do you burn 2,500 calories in a day? That's what you asked me. Well, your basal metabolic rate might be 2,000 calories. You might burn an additional 500 calories just from your exercise, from going to the gym, from whatever it is that you're engaging in. But if you don't actually know how many calories you're taking in, that's gonna be the problem, okay guys? So while yes, it's great to understand these terms and understand the science behind it, what I find is that it often just overcomplicates a process that is very simple. All right guys, that's gonna be it for me today. Hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you tomorrow.